Hi guys, this is Mrs. Stovall and you're in my kitchen this weekend. Uh, for our lesson today in class, we're talking about what does it mean to be an American? And typically when we talk about being American, uh, historian and politicians and people have about two theories about what this might mean. You'll hear it in the news a lot, people will talk about it. We're gonna be talking about the melting pot or the salad bowl today. And I thought the best way to demonstrate that is to actually do it hands-on in my kitchen, okay? So here we go. Now, um, when we're talking about American culture, America is made up of many different people from all around the world. And there's two theories. There's the salad bowl, that takes people from all over and you mix them together. And so I have a couple of different situations here. And the idea is that if you're a mixing bowl or a salad bowl, you all live together And you take all of the ingredients, and our ingredients today are people from around the world that migrated to the United States. And so we have Afghans, Guatemalans, Congolese, um, Mexican people, people from England or English. Uh, we have Spanish, where you put them. We have South African people, uh, Islanders. Uh, we have Chinese people, Japanese people we already put in. We have, of course, native people who were the first migrants and were here uh, long before others. Uh, we have the French. And, you know, we're making a nice summer salad here. So we add our Afghans in here. Now, there are hundreds of types of people and people that come from all around the world. These are just a few examples. But if you look in my salad bowl, the idea of a salad bowl of American culture is that I could pick these people back out again. And that although we live in America, which is the salad bowl, I could separate these ingredients again meaning that we all live together, but we keep our own identity, our own culture, um, and we just interact with each other. Now, if we're talking about a melting pot, it's similar. Uh, we take all the same groups of people and we put them in the same country, living, working together, interacting together, going to school, and we have our, our same influences, the French, uh, the island influence, the Japanese and Chinese. And we build our same salad. But the melting pot is a little different. The melting pot represents the fact that when we live here, you are influenced by other people. And depending on culture or pressure, whether it be economic pressure, um, society, meaning if there's more of one type of people in an area, other people do something called assimilate. Sometimes it's by force. Sometimes it's to fit in under society or pressures. And we take our mixing pot and we take it a step further. All those pressures... So we take our salad of all of our ingredients, all of our cultures, and they're under pressure from each other or influence. And instead of just living in the same bowl, they get mixed together. Now, as you can see, I can still see some of the ingredients, a little bit of the tomato, a little bit of the thing, um, but as we live together longer and with each other more and under more pressures, it gets turned into a melting pot. And that's what melting pot means. It literally means they get put under pressure and heat 
and then get mixed together and stirred together under heat. Now, the idea is that over time, can I pull out a tomato, a mushroom, an onion, a piece of bacon? Can I separate that salad dressing out again? So the idea is that we've melted all the cultures into something new. That this is the American culture, something completely different and unique, and we can't separate them anymore. All right, so guys, in class today, you're gonna have resources. You're gonna have documents that are important to American history, like our Declaration of Independence, the Star Spangled Banner, the Great Colossus Poem, but you're also going to have some graphs, some numbers about religions and migration into America. The goal today is to use this lesson and those documents, those pieces of evidence, and I want you to have an opinion. What do you think America culture is? Do you think it is the salad bowl where we're all together but we can separate ourselves again? Or is it a melting pot where we come together and we completely mix together and we become something different, something totally new? I wanna see what your opinions are and make sure you use that evidence to support it. I'll see you in class.